Compassion to all living beings is a mark of a civilized society. Racism, sexism, speciesism, bullfighting, cockfighting, rodeos, hunting, poaching, sea, seal hunting, whaling, vivisection, enslavement, carnism are all signs of an uncivilized society. A society will become just and civilized when it's recognized. The true, and I repeat, true respect to all and rights to all innocent living beings. Screw the victimizers. Screw all the people who are not even recognized right when it is in front of their face. Peace, compassion, decency. That's not something you talk about on a sunny day or with your friends. This thing that you actually give. There's not something that you play lip service about. Say, oh, I didn't go against people in Uganda dying from starvation. Or I've been so against to shooting, the shooting of people of Iraq. Or I've been so, I've been so against um, animal cruelty. Let's say it only. Since when make you worse? Anything better for the victims? In my world, my world, make nothing better. In my world, you only be a good person when you are acting in a moral way. Not by playing the political dipshit. Sorry, but that's the truth. Because your words, your praise, are not helping the victims. Place yourself in their position for a moment. Say and take, um, and you say in that place, and somebody say in Europe, and you know, not even the person you have not even heard, it, and say, oh, I hope that they don't suffer starvation. Even not we, the West, steal something like uh, fifty to seventy percent of all the food. on the planet to livestock. Do the map. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this conclusion. Even the Council for America and Technology, a group in bed with the animal agriculture industry, acknowledge that America can feed the whole world. Can feed 10 billion humans on this planet. The only thing that have happened to happening anybody have to go vegan? Um, like the health of them is um, defined in to animal agriculture. They are sacrificed to animal agriculture. From um, cattle ranching to making place for uh, animal agriculture any two seconds one shot start from observation the animals get fat and any day when an area with the size of New York City is cut for something like so ah uh, so pathetic so apathetic so not myopic as a burger. And I have also my questions if you would really like the taste of that burger. Because if you did, you don't spice it with a lot of salt, pepper, and other vegetables and herbs so that it don't taste anymore like a dead, rotten corpse. If you Walk around the um, railroad, around the forest, and you see a dead 
a deer laying on the ground on the street. Do you think, what oh, smells so delicious? Oh, <laughs> no. Only a psycho do think that. Only somebody that is cuckoo. So, put your blind on other people. And see what is going on. Something very low estimate. 40% of all the water worldwide is given to an our cult. Sure. And you think that uh, Autocados will drown California? Let me not laugh. Autocados cost something like um, 80 gallons of water. Yeah. Do you know which costs the most amount of water? Animal products. One pound of meat costs to produce something like a conservative estimate for beef or cow flesh and I think that is too low for my calculations I think we have actually to uh, say that it uh, cost for beef um, my, my calculations that I've done maybe I will make a video about that put in the description if you like it and other, some other animal products I think also that you can put on the <laughs> Numbers on higher and still being in the right.